take a look at Ford's F-Series. The best-selling truck in America for over 35 years. North American production analyst at LMC Automotive Jeff Schuster says it's always been their bread and butter and it will continue to be. This truck is Ford. Analysts routinely use the nice round figure of $10,000 when plugging profit numbers for the F-150 into their models, meaning operating margins can extend north of 15%. That number obviously varies depending on the model. The F-150 starts at $26,000 for the basic two-door, two-wheel drive XL, but runs quickly past $78,000 for a fully loaded F-450. And of course, Stiffer competition or overproduction can weigh on margins because it forces the manufacturer to offer incentives that eat into profits. A change in production can also affect margins. With the recent switch to aluminum bodies, Ford's production dropped by 40% in the first quarter and overall North American margins, a number the company actually does publish, dropped from what would have been over 10% to just 6.7%. Chief Financial Officer Bob Shanks says thank God for the F-150, adding that once the truck reaches full production in July, it will drive a breakthrough year for profit. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas says Ford's F-Series makes up 90% of the company's automotive profit. In fact, in some years, it's more than 100% because everything else actually loses money. In the months that led up to the Great Recession, when oversupply led to the bankruptcy of General Motors and Chrysler, all three Detroit car makers offered such big incentives that they lost money on all of their cars. It was only the trucks that kept Ford afloat.